I was reading this book. I've been reading this book since Christmas. Uh, I used my sister's gift of uh, indigo card, indigo card, and uh, bought this book. Um, why? Well, uh, years ago, when I lost my job in Mississauga, and I was going through a really tough time emotionally, I picked up a book that was, I guess, well, it was on Zen Buddhism. It was really interesting and it helped me bring myself down emotionally and um, just it helped me get through that time. I don't know where I have put the book. It's somewhere in my boxes, I think. It's just, it should be on my, on my shelf, but I have not been able to find it. And that really annoys me because I want to, it's good about telling you not judgmentally, not religiously, about how to um, focus yourself and how to deal with people and things like that. So I really enjoyed that book. I haven't picked it up for years and now that I want it, yeah, I can't find it. So I was looking for the same book of course, I can't remember the title, I can't remember the author, on and on. So I was looking through the Zen Buddhism books and thought that maybe this one uh, was at least similar and might you know, get me through some similar issues. Well, if this is Zen Buddhism, then I really don't get. Because the last book was not religious. I'm an atheist. That book came across to me as a way of being not in a religious sense. This one, although it doesn't come out and say that it is religious, um, it, it talks about Buddhism. Oh, hi. That's not cheapy. That's Max. You're bringing me Max. Okay. Thank you. Good job. I know. Last time you brought me Cheapy, a dog, a certain dog, got very jealous and uh, protected me from you. Thank you for bringing me Max. I appreciate that. This book, I'm pretty much going to put down and not read because it comes out and says, well, I, I read about the Buddha, the man who became Buddha, and he saw these people and these people and this and that and the other thing. And from that, he came up with the idea of Buddhism and of Zen or whatever. And this is how you should be. And from what this woman describes as the beginnings of the Buddha, 
it's a load of crock. Easy, Julia. What's 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 getting you so upset? It did not make logical sense. It was counterintuitive. how they describe how this person describes Buddhism absolutely makes no sense. And I know religion usually doesn't make sense, and so why am I surprised? But I got the idea that Buddhism was a non-religious state or idea, way of being, way of behaving, that made um, emotional sense, I guess, I don't know, it sure helped me at a certain point. But this, maybe it's just this person's way of looking at it, but it really doesn't does not appeal to me the way she describes it. Doesn't. Really doesn't. So it's uh, 1135. Really? Yeah, it is. Yes, inspired by his childhood experience. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I'll keep reading so to see if I can find some. I resolving to pause, you know, at certain moments is a good idea. But the explanation for the pausing does not make sense. And where he says, where they say, to pay attention instead of reacting, that makes sense too. But not in all senses, not at all times. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I'll keep reading, I'll try, but let it be known, I doubt. <laughs>